Hello and a big welcome back to all of my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, I'll wait. Go ahead and push the button. All right. Uh, I just wanted to briefly go over uh, how I'm using Emacs and GDB to diagnose issues that I've got with some RISC-V assembly programming that I'm doing. Now, um, it's pretty easy to do this with Emacs. It's all got built-in functions. So in fact, all you have to do is just type Emacs, get in here, um, and then run the command GDB. As if you're in the directory where the program is you want to run, and I am, am rather, uh, you can just do this, press it, and it will start to run the code. So, um, I can run this, it's gonna fail, but there you go. Um, and what I can do is, um, make this, I much prefer it to be um, side by side. So I can just change my windows around so that I can see the code. Uh, and this is where it's at. Uh, I can set a breakpoint um, there at that function, copy jar. And you can see it's put a B there. So now it's got a breakpoint there. Uh, I can run the thing uh, and you can see the little equal sign with an arrow tells you where you are. So if I step, it go to the next one. You can see it there on the right, moving down and then jumping. So uh, you can do that and then you can um, set your variables. So if you want to watch, um, oh, Reg register A5, for example, which should be the next one. Um, you can see that it's put up the watch there on the left. It's put up the watch point, tells you the old value, tells you the new value, all of that stuff. So you can use that for registers. You can use it for um, strings. You can use it for whatever, you know, variables and whatever you, you have. Uh, it's slightly more difficult under, uh, when using assembly language, if you got C, uh, it uses a lot of easy print statements. Um, if you use GDB before, you, you'll be fine. Um, but I just thought the combination of using it with um, Emacs is quite good. Now, normally I would not use, this way, I would use the default, um, but that's difficult for you to see <laughs> on the um, on the screen. So I, I've changed the profile um, so that you can see it. But yeah, this is a really nice, convenient way to have a look and see what you're doing in GDB, but also seeing the code. Um, because a lot of times when you're um, just running um, the, the code, it's difficult for you to see the, the actual code. Let me, let me show you what I mean. If I go back, if I just run GDB on the program itself, I get the same thing, but I can't really see where it's at. Um, and I have to do list statements to try and work out what's happening and where it's at and all of that. So this is this, you can do this, it's not a problem, but it is much more convenient to have the entire source code on display in another section of the, of the view screen, um, like you get with, uh, Emacs. Now I'm sure there are probably other uh, editors that'll let you do this, but I'm using I'm SSHing into a virtual machine running, uh, you know, on a on a RISC-V emulator. So it's not as easy for me to run 
things. <laughs> um, there's no graphical interfaces. It would be more difficult to run things like um, DD, although I, I could um, through SSH. But anyway, if you use Emacs and you use GDB, that is the way to go. It's really easy and convenient, and you can see all of your source code as you're stepping through things, as you're setting watch points, where you've got your breakpoints set. It'll show you all of that in the source code window. So it's very, very convenient and easy to use. So that's it. Just wanted to quickly go through that. Uh, that's it for me today. Thank you very much. If you like this sort of thing, like and subscribe and press the bell and jump around and be happy. All right. See you soon. Bye.